When you think of the city of Anaheim, one usually thinks of Disneyland, hockey, baseball. But what if I told you that you can find one of the most authentic Cuban spots right in front of Angel Stadium? This is Chapter 2 of Cochina Cocina. Right in front of Angel Stadium in Anaheim, a small Cuban family is making its mark and showing that you don't have to travel all the way to Miami for an authentic Cuban meal. All right, so we are here at Papo's Cuban Kitchen. I am here with... Miranda. Miranda. Now, I'm here to try out your best dish, the staple of Papo's. What would you recommend? Uh, my favorite dish here is the arroz con pollo. Arroz con pollo? Yeah. I think I'll have one of those. Yeah, it's delicious. Meet Adrian, owner and head chef, who was gracious enough to give us a sneak preview on what goes into making Papo's staple dish, arroz con pollo. So what we got today is arroz con pollo, uh, really popular in Cuba since back in the time. So basically we cook the rice with the chicken inside, with the beer, butter, and a bunch of condiments. And then we use uh, our most uh, traditional stuff, which is a sofrito. It's a bunch of spices blended out with olive oils and lemons and uh, sour orange. We got a homemade roasted bell peppers. We want to make it a little bit of fusion with those roasted bell peppers and the charcoal. We're gonna let that sofrito to saute in there. Pretty nice. Okay, now we're gonna get our chicken stock with butter. It's already fused in there. We're gonna bring it to boil. Oh, that's good. <laughs> and then we're gonna dress it up. It's gonna put a little bit of cilantro and parsley to make it those flavors pop it up. One slice of lemon, let's go well with that. And then from here we're gonna come and we're gonna get our ripe bananas, or maduros, how they call it. And that's it, it's done. Ready. I've been told that this is iron beer. It's a non-alcoholic beer. And I'm hearing that it's the best beverage to have right now with arroz con pollo. I'm about to give it a shot. and see what we got here. Cheers. Good. That is, ooh. You guys are right. You guys are right. That's, that's really good. Adrian joins me at the dinner table. We have a casual conversation about food, family, and the future of Papo's Cuban Kitchen. Talk to me a little bit about your restaurant. Talk to me. Let's start off with your name and some of your staff members. Your staff members have been really nice to me so far. They've, yeah, well, they've already uh, presented really good food already that I'm very excited to try out. Yeah, well, my name is uh, Adrian, so but most of the people they come with tapos. So since I've been here in California for almost 13 years. 13 years. So I came straight here, never been in Miami. So uh, most of my crew is family members. Yeah. In the back of the house, my mom, in line cook with me, I, I, uh, my brother, another good friend of the family as well, good. Jose. And so what we're trying to do here is just straight concept from uh, Cuba street food. So, you know, different to other restaurants, so what we're trying to do is just everything, everything is coming from the street. Yeah. You know, the lechon, the roasted chickens, uh, multiple recipes that we grown out of the streets. Mm -hmm. Anything that you're looking forward to with next year, 2020? Uh, yeah, uh, well, the, uh, the concept of Papo since the beginning was like little spot that I would like to open even with a full bar. Yeah. But the future is like maybe to expand it a little bit more and just trying to bring the real drinks from Cuba. Staples, mojitos, mm -hmm. uh, piña colada, and a good daiquiri, uh, like those good ones that uh, Hemingway used to drink back in Cuba. John Lennon used to live uh -huh. in Cuba, and they can grab those kind of drinks if <laughs> I try to spend it, you know. But that's pretty much the future. Well, I gotta tell you right now, I just finished arroz con pollo. 
It's amazing. I highly recommend it. Thank you so much for this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save this for the crew because you guys really need to try this. <laughs> this is life changer right here. So is this coffee, Joe? I'm sorry, but I'm gonna finish your coffee. Well, thank you so much. All right, thank you so much. Thank you so, thank you so, so much, much for welcoming. I wish you nothing but success for the future. Of I appreciate it. Let's make it happen. Thank Anytime, you, Joe. I hope everybody enjoy it. Thank you so you much. Just had Papo's. Excellent, excellent food. I am completely 100% satisfied. If you ever find yourself in Anaheim, California, please be sure to stop by Papo's Cuban Kitchen. It's amazing, authentic, friendly staff. You will not regret it. Thank you for watching Chapter 2 of Cochina Cocina. Be on the lookout for Chapter 3. We'll see you soon. Take care. Thank you.